Welcome to this year's Minecraft Hour of Code lesson, AI for Good. This Minecraft Hour of Code teaches students basic principles of coding and introduces them to artificial intelligence in eight short quests. This video will help you understand how to navigate the Hour of Code in Minecraft, Education Edition. Okay, let's get started. First, download the latest Minecraft Education Edition app. Our Hour of Code webpage also has a downloadable educator guide, lesson plan, and videos in 20 languages. You can do the Minecraft Hour of Code lesson even if you don't have a license. Open the app, accept terms, and click play. If you have an Office 365 education account, go ahead and sign in. Click play, and then view library. Click lessons, then computer science, an hour of code. Click create world to begin. Start your journey at the entrance of the research center. You will see an orange current quest prompt on the top left side of your screen with a short description of each task. In this case, locate the research center. Use your mouse to look at the researcher in the distance and press W to move forward. If you're playing on an iPad, check out the lesson plan for details on how to navigate Minecraft using touch. You will encounter several NPCs or non-player characters like the researcher in today's activity. Right-click on each NPC to get information on how to complete your quests. The first quest is to use code to open the gate. Press C to code or tap the agent icon at the top of the screen if you're using touch. In the coding window, drag and drop the coding blocks to complete the quest and press play to run your code in Minecraft. With the gate now open, press W to move into the training yard. Right-click the engineer to get more information about your second quest and meet your agent. The agent is a robot that acts as the student's coding sidekick. After attempting to complete an activity, you can choose to try again or skip to the next lesson by looking for the helper bot during each coding challenge. Press C to code the solution for this quest. Now continue around the agent to the researcher. In this quest, you will teach the agent to recognize dry brush, which burns easily and causes forest fires to spread. The agent will need this data later when the time comes to prevent forest fires. Press C to see the instructions and begin to code. Press the green button to run your code and move to the next step. Follow the path and look left to find the ladder that goes up to the top of the tower. Use W and look up to climb up the ladder. At the top, you will find another NPC waiting for you. Right-click on the NPC and choose the easy or hard coding path. Move left to the edge of the tower and use the mouse to look down. Don't worry, you won't fall off. You can use a pencil and paper to plan your instructions for the agent in this coding activity. The purpose of this quest is to navigate the agent through a maze to analyze dry brush as the presence of dry materials may increase the risk of forest fires. After completing this quest, descend the ladder now visible behind the technician. Press W to approach the ladder and then let go of W to descend. Walk through the maze and find the head researcher waiting for you at the top of the stairs in front of a large building. Right click to get more information and open the door to the building. Enter, go left, and follow the path to the next training activity. Now it's time to build the AI system that will power the agent to help prevent fires. A set of pictures are presented to the agent. You will decide which picture represents a critical fire hazard. We don't want the agent to destroy healthy plants. Right-click the gray buttons in front of Yes and No to teach the agent whether each picture does or does not represent a hazard. When you've completed the task, walk just a few steps to the next activity. Now it's time to test the agent. A variety of plants will be presented to the agent. Press C to program the agent to destroy dry brush when detected. After completing the quest, move forward to the scientist for the next activity. Right-click the button until the monitor reveals an area at risk of fire. Continue outside to the helicopter and right-click on the pilot who will transport you to the village that needs your help. After you land, right-click the pilot again to get instructions. Destroy all the flammable objects in a row with a coding solution. The fire has started, but since you destroyed all the hazards, the village was saved. It's time to breathe life back into the area that was affected by fire. Talk with the pilot and then press C to create your solution for replanting the area. 
Encourage your students to write code to add plants and animals. After completing this task, click the I'm finished button. This will allow students to collect their hour of code certificates and view photos of their coding journey. Go beyond the hour of code with Minecraft Education Edition at education.minecraft.net.